2017 will be 20 years since we started our national tour. I am very proud that I directed the very first national tour in 1997. That was when I first had an association with the company and now after 26 years, going into 27 years, uh, I'm very proudly the new artistic director of Bell Shakespeare. One of the most exciting aspects of The Merchant of Venice is that it will be directed by Anne-Louise Sarks. Annie Lou and I have known each other for many years and I've always loved her great rigour with text in particular. She also has a particularly mischievous sense of humour. So I've been looking for the right project and Merchant of Venice, like all the great Shakespearean comedies, requires, yes, some funny, but also they tend to require a great deal of compassion and empathy. I think Annie Lou's one of the great directors around now and I'm really pleased to invite her to direct The Bell Shakespeare. The Merchant of Venice centres round a love story. Bassanio wants to woo and marry Portia. He needs money. He borrows it from his best friend Antonio, who's waiting for his ships to come in. Antonio, in turn, borrows the money from Shylock, a much maligned and abused Jewish moneylender. The play very cleverly centres around the bond. Shylock demands that if Antonio does not pay him the money on time, he can take a pound of flesh from anywhere on Antonio's body. Taken to court before the Duke, Antonio tries to defend himself. Portia dresses as a man and fakes it being a lawyer and saves Antonio's life. It's a comedy, it's a courtroom drama, it's part fairy tale, and like all Shakespearean comedies, it has a very bitter aftertaste. One of the really contemporary things about Merchant of Venice is that it's built around money. Money is at the centre of the plot, whether it's wooing Portia or whether it's the pound of flesh bond. The play has fairy tale in it. It's definitely got romance in it. And then there's the courtroom drama that feels incredibly contemporary. It could be coming off HBO now. This mix of genres, I think, makes it fascinating that yes, it's a comedy, yes, it ends with weddings, but it's also a quite extraordinary drama.